What's up everybody? Welcome to the Hoop State Network. Miles Master Cole here with Combine Academy guard Robert Dillingham. Robert, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm great. I'm great. Uh, so you're one of the top freshmen in North Carolina in the 2023 class. That class is loaded with point guard talent. Guys like you, Aiden Holloway, Jalen Curry. There's so many names I could think off the top of my head. Tremaine Parker. What does it feel like to be part of such a special group? And do you think that this class of point guards is among the best that have ever kind of come through? Yeah, we got like a lot of talent in our class. We can, we we all work together mm -hmm. to push each other, make each other better, and we're all like our friends. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So you came through middle school. You put up some really really impressive numbers there. When you're playing and you're putting up those kind of numbers, where's your confidence level at on a game-to-game -game basis? It's a high confidence level, but like I, I always know I have to get better because like it's always like a better competition I have to go against. Kind of balancing being confident and being humble at the same time. Yeah. How difficult is that to balance? Well, it's not that hard if you know like you just gotta be humble because if you're overconfident, then you're more like an arrogant person. Mm -hmm. So. You so recently, you went to a middle school hoops TV camp. Um, that's one of the bigger camps um, for kids around your age to go to from a national perspective. They have it in Indiana. Um, what was that camp experience like and what was maybe a highlight of the trip? It was a great experience. We had, it was like high level competition mm -hmm. and the highlight was like throwing the ball. Yeah, there. we'll get to that in a sec. Yeah. Um, what, like when you see the reaction that people have to that, some people are saying, oh, that's a tough move. Like, that's really cool that he pulled that off. And some people are saying, wow, that's disrespectful. If I was coaching him, I'd pull him out of the game. Being a 14-year-old kid, just trying to have fun on a basketball court, what was your reaction to that? Well, like, it didn't really matter to me because, like, people had their own thoughts. And, like, so... Yeah, they have <laughs> yeah. their own thoughts. Do you think that's going to kind of help prepare you for when, you know, obviously you're a very talented kid, you're going to be in the public eye, hopefully, foreseeable for the foreseeable future. Um, do you think that going through something like that now is going to help you kind of deal with it as yeah. you continue to go through the ranks of being recruited in basketball and stuff like that? Yeah, because there's going to be a lot of animosity when like, I'm a higher ranked prospect in my class. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so you're attending Combine Academy. Coach Jeff McGinnis is the, co is the coach here. It's the first time he's a high school head coach. Uh, really a program that's starting to really help try to build that national brand and try to establish themselves as a power, not only in the state of North Carolina, but beyond that. Um, how important of a role do you think you have here and how excited are you to kind of lay the foundation for Combine Academy moving forward? I'm excited to do it here and uh, uh, Jeff's pushing me every day to be like to have an important role on this team and he thinks that I should be one of the leaders on the team. Yeah. And he's pushing me. Yeah. Do you think that like Jeff is a, a great coach considering that he was a high level guard played in the NBA? Yeah. He, he'll be able to help you kind of in your development? Yeah, he's one of the best coaches I ever had because he teaches me. He might yell at me, but it's like only for the better. Tough love. Yeah. Um, do you think that Jeff is going to, what kind of signature moment are you expecting from Jeff on the sidelines this year? We know he's a, an animated guy. He likes to talk a little bit on the sidelines. What do you expect from him as a coach on the sideline this year? I know he said even if we like, we miss a game when it's shot, he's always going to take cover for us, for the media. Yeah. He's going to take every he's game. Back. Yeah, he's going to take every game for her. And it's always going to be on him if we lose. How much uh, How much does that mean to you, knowing that you have a, a coach of support like that? That's like, that's love. It's ideal? <laughs> yeah. Um, so kind of going through your recruitment, uh, offer from Wichita State, interest from schools like Wake Forest and some others, what has been kind of something that you didn't expect about the recruiting process that's kind of happened? I didn't expect I would have like a bunch of schools looking at me like at this now. Point, yeah. You thought it would kind of happen later? Yeah, I thought it would happen. Um, what's what's like a dream situation for you at the next level? Is there a school that you always grew up rooting for? Or is it kind of the best situation for me at the time? It's not like an uh, ideal school I would want to go to, but like it's I just want to be like a top player in the D1. You want to go somewhere that you, you're wanted and it puts you in a position to succeed? Yes. Um, and obviously here at Combine Academy, it's safe to say you're in a pretty good position. How, how much fun has it been playing with a guy like Jalen Huchofino, someone that's a, a five-star, nationally ranked kid, top 25 in his class, Team USA, all of the above. Jalen Huchofino has those accolades. Um, how, how has he helped make you better, and how much do you think, how, like, are you scared for the opposition this year? Like, is it going to be that kind of year for you guys, you think? Yeah, it's great playing with him. He helps me. He makes me better by playing hard defense. He shows me how, like, to see the court, vision, and having a better IQ. Uh, what has been your favorite thing about being a member of, of Combine Academy so far? Just like the friendships I've made with other teammates and coaches. It's kind of like a family atmosphere over here? Yeah, it's a family. Um, what is one thing about Robert Dillingham that people 
don't really know that you would like for them to know? Uh, like, what kind of kid are you off the court? Like, uh, what do you like to do? I like, I don't know. Well, I don't do other than anything shoes, other than, hang out oh yeah, friends. shoes. What's, what's your shoe game looking like? It's crazy. It's crazy? It's crazy. What are you gonna, are you gonna break out anything on court this year or is it mostly off court? On court. On court? Yeah. You gotta wear your shoes? On court drip. Okay, all right. <laughs> We're expecting a lot from you. Uh, Robert Dillingham, one of the top guards in 2023, not only North Carolina, but the country. Um, and what do you have to say to the people that were maybe saying some bad, bad things about you after going off the easy? Uh, well, like, I don't really care what they said because it's just motivation for me to get better. It's motivation? Yeah. All right, Robert, we appreciate you coming on and uh, best of luck this year. We'll be talking Thanks. a lot about you and seeing you a lot. Thanks. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and double it. Cause I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them, I run through the money, the pressure be calling.